Yo, what's up? It's Lucas, or I should say, hola amigos. Here in Tulum, it's been three weeks, three weeks and two days we've been in Mexico. And next to our Airbnb we're staying at for the month, there's this tower, this jungle tower that you can climb up and you watch the sunset or the sun come up. And you think, you meditate, you breathe, you ponder. And I've had a lot of cool creative breakthroughs just over the last two days being here. And so I thought I'd bring you up here as the sun sets and talk about something I posted about recently. And there seemed to be two groups of people, people who liked it, people who didn't like it. And I've been told this many, many times. I, I consider myself very optimistic. I choose to see the good. I want to see the good. I choose to believe that I bet on people, I bet on the economy, I bet on humans, I bet on the planet, I bet on the individual, and of course there's some bad actors, bad players, but overall, year after year, decade after decade, things improve, things get better. And I choose to see the good in every situation. And what I get a lot of the time is someone saying, yeah, but there's people dying, yeah, but there's people starving, yeah, but, yeah, but, all of this stuff. And I. I I used to say, it was so funny because I used to be the one saying that. But I wasn't doing anything about it. I was like, yeah, well, it must be nice, but like, what about these people? I wasn't doing anything about it. And when I started shifting my mindset and shifting my, my soul and my heart and my spirit into creating, focusing on the opportunity, looking for the opportunity, I realized that, yes, the world is really messed up, we can't argue that. But there's also a lot of good. There's also a lot of opportunity. There's also a lot of growth. There's also a lot of expansion. There's also a lot of things to celebrate. And when I started learning a little bit more about human psychology and just the way humans are, I quickly learned that pessimism, negativity sells. We're naturally, if I come up to you and say, you know, someone's about to hurt you, someone's breaking into your house, something bad is happening, you, I'm gonna have your full attention. The news loves that. If I say, oh man, the future looks bright, or all these opportunities, sure, it may have some weight, depending on where you're at. If I say, hey, there's a great opportunity, do you wanna check it out? Oftentimes, we're kinda like, ah, I'm too busy, or I don't have time, or sure, when can we meet? But if I'm like, hey, you're gonna die. Hey, you just ate something that's gonna make you sick, I have your full attention. It's so ingrained in our psychology to look out for danger, and so, we have to override that. And to add to that, I'm not saying that we shouldn't acknowledge, live in a bubble and like pretend there's nothing wrong, but I'm like, what are we doing about it? And to me, the light drives out the darkness. It's getting dark and the light is going down and darkness is going to be in the, all around the jungle and if I'm still here in two hours, I'll probably get eaten alive. In the morning, the sun comes up and it casts out the darkness and to me, I can't change just talking about something doesn't create change. But if I can show up every day, be the best I can be. If I can help other people. If I can create value in people's lives. If I can choose and focus and, and make the choice to choose optimism and betting on people and making the world a better place and making people better than the way I found them and making the world better than the way I found it. To me, to me, now this is just my own belief, that's the way the world changes. And I stopped focusing on what about those people and what about that and all the negativity and all the bad because there is a lot of it. And I realized I'm just one person. And the change starts with me. And if I could change me, my life, my economical situation, other people's economical situations, other people's mindsets, soul sets, other ways that people show up in life, there's a ripple effect to that. And, and fundamentally to me, I think it's why I like coaching, it's why I like this world, is because we're on the forefront, the front lines of actually serving people, of actually making a change, like a tangible, real change. And it's funny, and I'll end it soon, because literally the sun's about to go behind the trees here. It's like, oh, only 100 people saw my video, or man, I've only worked with 10 clients. I'm like, those 10 people are having an effect on another 10, on another 10, on another 10. Don't discount the little change you can make. 
Now maybe you'll turn your small business into a company, and into an organization. We're on the path of doing that and starting to hire people and pay people and change. The ripple effect is huge. It's real. Every time I doubt what I'm doing, I just look at my, my immediate team and I'm like, how can I prove their life? How can I coach them? How can I serve them? Because they're making a ripple effect. Then we look at the clients. How can we serve them? How can there be a ripple effect? And I don't know the tens of thousands, the hundreds of thousands, the millions of lives will change without actually being able to count the actual number. You too, one video, one post, choosing to focus on optimism, not turning a blind eye and pretending that doesn't exist, being aware of it, doing what you can with it. A lot of people will donate $10 and they feel better about it. Ah, oh, well, now I feel better about it. And it's kind of like, it starts with the individual and your environment and the people immediate to you. And if we can start changing that, and if everybody did that, then the world will continue, and it is. If you look historically, the world continues to get better. Yes, there's a dark side to technology and social media, but overall, the world continues to get better. Markets continue to grow, economies continue to grow. Yes, some crash, but overall. And I just choose to bet on people and choose to bet on that and choose to bet that things will continue to improve in an accelerated race the more and more human beings choose to master themselves, their environment, and just help others around them, which is why I love this space. So right before the sun goes down, just want to let you know that I think there's really two ways you can do this. You can focus on the bad and the negative and all the things that are wrong with the world, or you can acknowledge it and focus on how can I improve me? How can I improve those around me? How can I make an immediate impact on people in my circle and to keep expanding that? How much impact could I really create? How many clients' lives could I change? That to me inspires me. And I see a lot of beauty, a lot of good, even throughout these insane times we're living through. I'm traveling in a third world country to get away from some of the insanity. There's still a lot of good. There's still a lot to celebrate. Hope this message finds you well. Uh, What'd you think? Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to this channel and for anything else, check out www.lucasruiz.com. We got a ton of resources, a ton of things to serve you there. Perfect timing, sun's about to go down. So with that said, appreciate you and we'll talk soon.